My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Go uh, with this drill? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead and just make some swings. Yeah. And you don't have to do you don't have to do it right. I mean, I just want you to feel the club. Yep. Your club again. Uh, yep. I just want put both hands on there this time. I want you to get your left so hand. You had, you had me coming over further. Right? right. So these two knuckles. Okay. Right. Now, I want you to do the motion exercise. Motion meaning continuous swing. Remember I did that? Mm -hmm. Just swing it back and forth. Let the club do it. Right. Right. I want, that's how I want you to warm up. If you go to Manor and you're ready to play around at all, that's how I want you to warm up. See, that's the swing I want you to use on the course right there. That's a swinging motion. Right. All right. Go ahead and hit a ball doing that. So that right hand and only exercise, you're getting your right hand grip. And like I said, I'm, I'm recording everything I'm saying. So the right hand is in the fingers, but we want to implement a little bit of clockwise rotation of the right hand so the right hand is underneath the grip a little bit more. Right. So, yep. If when, okay, so my hand's here. So That's no good. That right hand's not underneath the grip. There we go. Okay. That, that feels like the head's turned so far in. Well, it isn't. The it, toe. Well, it, the face should be perpendicular to your intended target line. But I'm just saying, you have got to understand that, look, your hands have got to be, look at me. You got to rotate both hands clockwise. Uh huh. Because you have too weak a grip. Okay. Period. Okay. Your grip is too weak. So that's a slice grip, and your ball's way too far forward. Put it in oh, the middle okay. of your stance. Yep. A ball in the middle, stronger grip. Yep. Right. And so that was off the toe. We'll, we'll fix that. So this right hand only drill. Bruce, you're going to do this drill, but you're going to try to go steep to shallow. You're going to do that left hand only drill as well. And so I'm going to fix your slice here now because we haven't had enough balls. But this left hand only is another one. I want you to feel that you're releasing that club, rotating the forearms, twisting the handle, getting that thing to twist.